Hey guys, Prank Chaos from Team Chaos Stream, otherwise known as the Haver Card Man, coming at you today with my Dark Endymion replays. So let's go ahead and just jump straight in here today. No, no holds barred here. So we are playing against what I can only assume is a control deck. They drop two Called by the Graves, a TC Boo, and a Solemn Judgment. We're going to throw out the Dark Magical Circle and get that Judgment procced. Sending our Dark Magical Circle to the graveyard, but that's fine. So let me just throw out the Reflection of Endymion, Pot of Desires. Get our Magician's Souls, dumped our Dark Magician, and he just surrenders. He just kind of gave up. So there's the first replay. Uh, as you can see, we had a decent hand. We definitely had some commas to pull there. So let's go ahead and go into replay number two. <clears throat> Alrighty, so as you can see here, I end up playing a Medolce player. Uh, they're going first, so they're going to attempt to set up their wall here. And we are going to see what we can do to break it here. So just go into normal uh, Medolce shenanigans, pull out of the Glass Soufé into the Chocolate a la Mode, shuffling back into the deck, getting their Chocolate a la Mode for some special summons, and just going off like crazy once again, like I said, pulling off their Medolce shenanigans, summoning whatever they need to, building their wall, and just seeing what they can do to stop us from playing the game here. Or at least interacting with them. And little do they know, we actually have the means in our hand here to break their board and pop off some combos here. So if you can see, we'll just pause this really quick. So they end up with a Medolce Fresh Just Start here, uh, Chocolate a la Mode, and a Medolce Hoot Cake with a Medolce Ticket, a Salon, and a Cosmic Cyclone set there. So let's go ahead and go off my turn and see what happens here. So we're going to open up. We're going to throw out the Master Cerberus, go straight for the Mythical Beast Jackal King, and pull out the Master Cerberus so we can get some spell counters on him right away, and be ready to banish some stuff. So we're going to Spellbook of Secrets, pull out our Magician of Prophecy, get the Knowledge, draw two cards. Master Cerberus now has enough counters, so we can get rid of that Sistart, get rid of their Protection. Go Magician Souls, get rid of Reflection. Special Summon out some more monsters here, get two different Apprentice to Losing Magicians, get a Dark Magician with Dark Magic Veil in hand. That Dark Magic Veil we can actually end up using after we get this whole play here, which uh, I mistakenly forgot that um, <clears throat> that Magician Souls does not fall under Dark Magician Circle, so we're going to activate the Dark Magic Veil here. And we are going to Special Summon back out from our graveyard, the Jackal King, since he shotgunned and got rid of that Dark Magic Circle. The Mystical Beast Jackal King honestly ended up being the better play, so thank you, Medolce player. Your board has been broken, and you have left us with a Mythical Beast Jackal King on our field to negate. Now we have a decent little board set up here. We can use our Apprentice Illusion Magician for any attack point boost that we need. We got the Infinite Impermanence to negate both the Medolce Petting Sasur and the Medolce Ticket. Uh, negating the hoot, the hoot Cake with the Jackal King. Super great there. Pulling out another Apprentice Illusion Magician for extra points. And once he realizes he doesn't have anything left to do, he's going to call it quits. Let's go ahead and go on to the next replay. <clears throat> All right, so next up here, you can tell we are going to be playing what looks like a Metaphist deck, seeing as that everything in the hand was a Metaphist. Set the Dimension, and that's their turn. So we're going to go for the Spellbook Magician Prophecy, open up, just surrenders, realizes that we're going to have full combo, and that he is going up against Spellcasters. So next replay. All right, so this time we're going against Tenyis, and honestly, I find this duel absolutely hilarious. I'm going to go first here with the Spellbook Magician Prophecy, going for the Secrets. Going to get our Spell Power Control first, though, so we can pull out the Endymion, so we can get some Spell Counters. And, um, unfortunately for this guy, since he's playing Tenyis, I'll just let you watch, but the way he loses is actually kind of hilarious. So let's just go ahead and let this keep going. So we're going to go off with our normal combos, dump the Illusion Magician Souls to dump the Reflection again. Getting some draws, pulling out the Apprentice Illusion Magician, and we're going to get hit with the Nibiru. Pulls out a 3k body, we have a 5700, 4900 body, end phase, and that's all we can do. Little do we know that, uh... He's playing Tenyis, and he is not able to summon because he has that Nibiru on field, locking him out from all of his plays. He doesn't have a way to out the Nibiru token. So, in other words, you played yourself. Next replay. Alrighty, so here we are playing against some Time Lords. Actually, a very interesting build. So we're going to open up the Dark Magical Circle, play the Reflection. Uh, in hindsight, should have done it the other way around, but doesn't really matter too much because we still have some really good plays coming up. So we go into the Solemn and the Impermanence, which is fine. We'll just use the Dark Magicians, set to, and pass. Uh, so we got an Omni to gate and a uh, Monster to gate with Spell and Trap potential negation. So super good there. Uh, gonna go ahead and shock him that off. Get our Dark Magician's draw power. We draw into the Endymion, which is super good. Gotta love that. Feels great. They're gonna open up their Zaffy and the Time Lord. We are going to imperm that. Then they're going to advance draw to get rid of it and get their two extra cards. Pulling out their Sandy and the Time Lord. I honestly have no idea how to play against Time Lord, so I wasn't expecting this. We're gonna pop that Dark Magician's and get our Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl. Leaving us two bodies left on the field, uh, and now only a thousand life points left after some of that burn. We're gonna draw into the servant. I'm gonna use the reflection to special summon the servant and the reflection, bounce the servant back to hand to bounce their field spell. They're gonna try to protect it. 
And uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna go off some plays here. So we're getting some spell counters. We're going to use the Endymion himself actually to remove six counters from the field. Special summon himself, pop everything. And little does he know, we can just respond with Endymion to negate his card. And then now Endymion will uh, will go into the Nightmare Unicorn. He realizes he would have lost his Sandian, and we could have attacked the Endymion. That was game. So next replay. Alrighty. So here we are playing against some heroes. This looks more like a Neos hero deck, but uh, I'm very curious to see where this goes. So we're going first. Going to open up the Servant, the Mythical Institution, as well as the Endymion. Going to do Reflection. Not really much we had there. We have an Infinite Permanence. That was really about it. So they're going to convert Contact. Go straight into the Keeper of Dragon Magic. This looks like a very interesting combo deck, to say the least. We're just going to Imperm that because it was their normal summon, and we're going to assume they have nothing else, so we happen to be correct. So we're going to Pen Summon our Jackal King here, just because now this will allow us to get some spell counters. We get the Master Cerberus out. Life is golden. Go into the Crowley, get our spell books. Go spell book Secrets, Magician Prophecy, and then we'll get our Draw Card. Super, super handy here. Uh, getting more spell counters, of course, on our Jackal King and Master Cerberus. Always super handy. So, getting that spell power control, going for the reflection, just bouncing around cards like crazy here, gotta love it. Very satisfying feelings, we're gonna special summon out the Intimian, remove some spell counters, get the pop, and just go to battle phase. And I believe that is going to be the OTK. Life is beautiful, they didn't really have a chance. So next replay here. Alrighty, so now onto our final replay, we are actually playing against Harpies. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into this, I believe. <laughs> They opened up first, and they're going to go straight into the Harpy Channeler. We're going to hit it with that Infinite Impermanence, and they're going to waste the Harpy's Feather Storm because they didn't realize what it was supposed to do. Going to our turn, we don't really have much to play. We're going to hit that Dark Magical Circle, not find anything. Set Magician's Combination, Solemn Judgment. Magician's Combination just is a bluff in this case. We're going to Solemn Judgment that Harpy Lady won, and uh, he's just going to pull out with his Harpy combo here. Deal some damage and just go right in. So, blowing up our Dark Magical Circle there, hitting us for 21, down to 1,900 points after that Solemn Judgment. Gotta hurt. So, we're gonna open up with the Magician Souls here, actually getting really lucky, dumping the Dark Magician. We're gonna special summon it back to go into our Secrets of Dark Magic for the Dark Magicians. Go beat into them for 700 points, and, uh, while well, they just destroy their Hunter Piece hunting, hunting Ground instead. So, they're gonna go off some of their stuff, they're gonna pull out the Elegant Egotist, give us a draw. They actually don't use it, they go into the Samorg Bird of Sovereignty to pull out the Barrier Statue of the Stormwinds, very reasonable. They're gonna go Mythical Beast, Mass Cerberus, get a draw, go to Jackal King. We cannot use the Jackal King, uh, so we decided to go and pop the Barrier Statue first, pull out our Mythical Beast, Mass Cerberus. And I believe I forgot to actually use him, yeah, I forgot to use him to banish the Samorg, so that would be on my fault there. But we will count, or we will remember that later on. So getting some more spell counters here, getting some draw power. Gonna hit the Harpies Feather Storm to negate my Dark Magicians for the draw. They don't want to let us draw into possibly a Solemn Judgment. Gonna get rid of that Dark Magicians there. We're not gonna be able to special summon anything, so we didn't have anything left, and they just shuffled them back on the deck. So opening up that Solemn Judgment, so smart call. He, we would have ended up top decking that Solemn Judgment. That would have been very unfortunate for him. But we're just going to set it and pass anyways, and just hope for the best here. So he's going to open up the Elegant Egotist. That's going to proc our Solemn Judgment. Can't let that go through. Uh, that unexpected die is dead in his hand, so we're just going to let that go. Open up the Soul Servant, so we're just going to stack our deck. Make sure that we know what we're getting next. We're going to open the Magician's Rod. And that will allow us to draw the Magician's Rod, go to the Secrets of Dark Magic, and use Master Cerberus to banish. Get ourselves some damage on our opponent here, putting him down to 2150 since Master Cerberus is getting some insane attack points right now. Gonna go for the Unexpected Die, pulling out the Harpy Lady. Getting some more spell counters and everything here, getting both Harpy Ladies out on the field. And then going for the Utopia Double, trying to OTK. Uh, actually does not go into the regular Utopia, he pulls out the Utopia of the Lightning, attacks for game. So, this was actually a best 2 out of 3 match, but I'm only going to show you this replay just so you can see the power of the Dark Magicians here. So I hope you guys enjoyed these replays today. I had a lot of fun with this deck. Thank you guys so much. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we will catch you all next time. Remember to have fun and make your move. Peace out. Gonna take it, gonna take it, gonna take it.